I don't know about you, but staying home and doing all these Zoom meetings has become a bit monotonous. So today I'm going to show you how to take your favorite avatar or VR character from VR chat and bring it into your meetings. Really cheers people up. You can go on adventures with you, laugh at your character. It's a lot of fun. So let's get started. Okay, this is fairly simple to get working, but it just requires a few steps. What we're gonna to need to do first is download OBS, which is open broadcast software. This is a piece of software that's gonna help you take your VR chat and bring it into Zoom or Microsoft Meetings or whatever you're using on your desktop. We're gonna go ahead and launch the install here. Just go ahead and click through. This will take just a second. Okay, after that's installed, we need one more plugin, and it's something called OBS Virtual Cam. And what that's going to do is take the output of OBS and turn it into a virtual camera. So that basically means that any program you use will see it like a webcam. This is pretty simple. You can select uh, one or four cameras. Doesn't really matter here. I normally hit just one camera. Go through this. Go ahead and finish that out. Now what I like to do is load VR Chat. So get to a place that you want to start, and I have kind of a pre-picked world. Uh, that it drops in when I open VR Chat. You're gonna want to bring up the menu here and click on camera and click on stream camera. What you don't see here is it drops like a little virtual phone inside VR Chat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that and spin that around so it's looking at yourself and you can kind of frame the shot however you want. But what this does is you'll notice when I clicked it, it changes the view from looking out your eyes to looking through this camera. So it basically drops a virtual camera in the environment and you can move and position that during your session. Okay, so once I have that set up, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off a headset and open OBS. So what you need to do is you need to tell OBS what it should use as the video source. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit the plus arrow and you're gonna go down until you see window capture. Now what that means is it's gonna capture one of your desktop windows and rebroadcast it. So just rename it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it VR Chat Capture. Click OK. And you'll see that it's it's picked some default window. And you'll scroll through here till you find the one that you're looking for. And so in our case, it's VR Chat. And then under capture method, you need to just pick which one is giving you streaming video. I'm sure it's gonna be different on each machine, but only one of these works for me. And you'll see the video moving around and there we go. Now I know I'm successful on that. I'm gonna go ahead and okay. And then it doesn't fill the window, so I'm just gonna stretch that so it fills the window. And there we go. So now I've got that set up. You can see that it's rebroadcasting or at least it's bringing that window into OBS. So there's one more thing you need to do in OBS now that you've got the setup and working is you're gonna need to go up to tools and go to virtual cam. And basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna trick your computer into believing that this is a web camera on your computer. So you'll just hit that, you'll hit start, and now this will show up in whatever program you're using as a web camera. So let's go ahead and launch Zoom in my case. Let's go into settings and we're gonna go to video. And we go in there, you can see, this is what I was last using, it selected the OBS camera. You can just click through these till you find the one that it matches. So there we go, you can see it's broadcasting. You can kind of play with these settings you need. I've got HD checked. So you go under audio and for the speaker, I'm gonna set this to my index and that's the name of my rig, it's a valve index. So I can see that it's gonna output audio to that. And then for microphone, I'm gonna pick also the microphone built into the index. Once I'm happy there, you can go ahead and test it and see how that works, but I know that works for me. So now if I click a new meeting, you'll see, there we go, I'll just join with computer audio. You can see that is what I'm broadcasting. So when I put my headset back on, you'll see, and then we'll go ahead and I'll have my wife join me for a test call here. So you'll see that this works. So one of the things that I think is critical that is missing is being able to bring your friends and everything into VR so you don't have to constantly take your headset off and look at your desktop. So the best thing I found for that was using a piece of software called OVR Toolkit. No, this isn't an ad for them. This is just the simplest thing I found that seemed to work for bringing desktop items into VR chat. So this was like 12 or $14, something like that. And it was pretty simple. So I'm just gonna walk you through that. I've already installed it through Steam. And in order to bring it into VR chat, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is bring up your main menu. If you don't see any recently played, you can click on your library browse all and then on your installed and you can say launch VR overlay and that'll bring it right in. And so this will give you this little pop-up menu. It's pretty easy to look through. You, you have the option to spawn new windows or to switch to an active window and that's where you'll select the zoom VR window and you'll see it'll pop right up. What's great is when you're done with this menu and you minimize it, it shows up on your left hand and only shows up when you look at it like you're checking for time and you can bring the window back up and access all the settings. 
It also offers a few nice features like showing your CPU status as well as the time. One thing I noticed after running this through a few Zoom calls is that my frame rate was really low and I thought maybe that was performance based, but after checking my machine, I found that my machine was plenty capable of handling. It was just a setting I needed to find in here. If you go to Windows settings, turn off this eco mode and you'll get full 30 frames a second as long as your machine supports it right in VR chat. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. I know this is a little different than my normal videos, but this is something that's fun and I'm kind of passionate about right now. So I wanted to share that with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for next week. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. I don't know about you, but staying at home and doing all these VR. So today I'm going to show you how you take your vapor. Oh. I don't know about you, but staying home and doing all these oh, your meetings. It's really fun. So today I'm going to show you how you take your favorite. Oh God.